The photo that shook tennis fans across the globe. We're taking a deep dive into Serena and Maria's Met Gala reunion. Stefano Tsitsipas changes course on the vaccine and he reveals he'll get the jab this year. And I bet you didn't know who painted Naomi Osaka's dress design. We're breaking down the best tennis looks from the 2021 Met Gala. The break starts now. Hey everyone, welcome to The Break, your source for the most buzzworthy off-court news. You know who I am, I'm Erin Coscarelli. Serena Williams and Maria Sharapova faced off against each other on the court 22 times. Serena dominating the rivalry, winning 20 of those 22 matches. Despite the long history though, their personal relationship has been limited often being portrayed as enemies in the locker room as well as on the court. Maria said in her 2017 autobiography, quote, Serena and I should be friends. We love the same thing, we have the same passion, but we are not friends, not at all. Someday when all this is in our past, maybe we'll become friends or not. You can never tell. Well, that day may have come because this photo was posted on Maria's Instagram story the night of the Met Gala. It got a lot of shares as well from Venus, who of course added, quote, reunion to the post. All right, maybe this was just a one-off, right? Well, we did do some more investigating. The Instagram account FabS posted a photo of Serena and Maria in the Met Gala bathroom looking quite friendly. And naturally, you know we need the backstory. Who better than Venus Williams herself to tell us what went down that night? Take it away, V. First question is about the Met Gala. Backstory on you, on me, Serena and Maria in the photo. First of all, Serena and I were talking about Maria the day before. We were walking we were like, man, we wish Maria would still play. And we saw her and we both told her separately like oh my gosh we're just talking about you yesterday we wish you were still on tour and we were so happy to see each other there was hugs there was laughing there were stories and there was a photo so the backstory is that even though us players compete really hard on the court for years we still respect and love each other and love maria and if you want to come back maria we've asked you to come and do it, it goes for you too caroline hmm. This makes me think that this beat between Serena and Maria was maybe a little over-exaggerated. Who's to say? All I know is a friendship between these two champions is always good news. And maybe we'll see Maria in Serena's player box, one can dream. Earlier this month, Stefano Tsitsipas drew some criticism for his comments on the vaccine. He was quoted saying he didn't feel like vaccinations were necessary for people his age and that it was good to pass the virus in order to create more immunity. Well, this week, Steph said he'd get vaccinated this year in an interview with Antenna TV. His reasoning being that the vaccine would allow him to return to a more social life. Stefano Tsitsipas is set to play for Team Europe at Labor Cup this weekend in Boston. Well, in case you didn't know, the Met Gala was last week and it seems like every tennis player alive was in attendance. Let's get to some of these looks, shall we? First up, we've got Venus and Serena. Venus, of course, collaborating with designer Prabal Guru for this red look while Serena's superhero-inspired cape was from Gucci. U.S. Open champ Emma Raducanu also made an appearance in this Chanel black and white stunner. And look, Isla Tomlanovic and a bartender. Oh, wait a second, that's Matteo Berrettini and Dolce and Gabbana. Girlfriend Isla also sported Dolce. And you know we had to mention Naomi Osaka in this show-stopping look by Louis Vuitton's creative director, Nicolas Giesquier. The dress features a digital watercolor print done by her sister Mari that pays tribute to her Japanese heritage. Now, if there's one thing we learned from the Met, it's that tennis players know how to show out on the red carpet, and also that Matteo Berentini isn't a bartender. You look nice. That's fine. I look like a bartender. <laughs> well, that'll do it for us this week. Remember, use hashtag TheBreakTC to join in on the conversation and learn more about what your favorite players and personalities are doing off the court. Because, you know, there's more to tennis than just tennis. We'll see you next time.